Hi, I'm Guy Ritchie with Prime Video on Real Talk. Somehow we got picked up and that sort of created an enthusiasm in Los Angeles and then the sort of underground buzz and then sort of Brad Pitt watched it. Then Brad Pitt said, look, whatever you're doing next, I'm gonna jump in. And, and there was a whole sort of positive momentum that, that built very quickly. You still got a car, I suggest you use it for your not working anymore. When I direct a scene, I don't have a hierarchy of pleasure of one scene to another. It's funny, you, I don't really see things like that. I sort of enjoy the whole thing, not one more than the other. I want your language in front of the boy. Jesus Christ! I mean, it seems conspicuously obvious now that Lockstock was, I suppose, a comedy of sorts. We've got a ticket already, and if you don't move it, we will move it for you. Audiences really responded to it. We got so much attention because of it that we kept sneaking out and going into cinemas and watching it and you'd see audiences erupt. Spanking. That, that's hard to tell actually. This puts us in an awkward position. Someone watched the film the other day and they went, they just ripped off your stuff. And there was absolutely no way I would have guessed that. There was after Lockstock, there seemed to be quite a lot of movies that came out in the same genre. I sort of have an idea. Once you cobble the film together, six months later you come back and then with the additional five days that you tap onto the end, you can do a lot. You go from a film that is a sort of four out of 10 and you can quite swiftly in three or four days turn it into a eight out of 10. I think that's what happened with Lockstock.